Defence Minister Rajnath Singh has approved the enhancement of funding under the Technology Development Fund scheme of the DRDO, from the existing 10 crore rupees to 50 crore rupees per project. The TDF scheme supports the indigenous development of components products systems and technologies by micro small and medium enterprises, and with the enhanced funding, the local industry will be able to develop more complex technologies for existing and future defence systems. During the ongoing visit of Defence Minister Rajnath Singh to Vietnam, the two sides have signed a Memorandum of Understanding for Mutual Logistics Support, and a Joint Vision Statement on India-Vietnam Defence Partnership towards 2030. Vietnam is seeking local production of 70 km range Akash NG missile with the transfer of technology from India. Vietnam is eager to send a delegation to India to witness the next launch of the Akash NG missile system, but they have been denied access to sensitive launch sites on the east coast, since the Akash NG is still carrying out experimental trials. The Akash NG will be cleared for production in 2023, and Vietnam could be the first launch customer, for which a customized variant will be developed by 2025. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has released an expression of interest, inviting eligible global firms for collaboration in design development and setting up of cavitation tunnel. The cavitation tunnel will be used for study of acoustic measurements due to cavitation of propellers, that will be used to design highly efficient propellers for naval ships and submarines. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has also released an expression of interest inviting eligible firms for the design development and supply of lithium-ion battery system for underwater platform. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has also released a third expression of interest, inviting public and private sector companies for indigenous development of fasteners and rubber components for submarine. The Vector and Scorpion 2-in-1 Vertical Takeoff and Landing Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance Drone is all set to undergo test trials along the line of actual control in Ladakh sector next month, that will be followed with possible induction into the Indian Armed Forces. The Vector UAV has a flight time of 2 hours, and can operate in most difficult terrains with extremely low noise emission, and can send video streams to a range of over 15 kilometers. Removing the wings and attaching a separate set of copter arms will convert it into Scorpion configuration, for an even wider variety of mission applications with 45 minutes flight time. Embraer officials have been meeting top-ranking Air Force officials and senior Defense Ministry officials to promote its C-390 tactical airlifter in the country, and also scout for supply chain industrial partners from India. Indian Air Force would have procured 60 medium airlifters from the now scrap Indo Russian multi role transport aircraft program, and Embraer is now eyeing this requirement, and has offered to create a production plant in India, where the aircraft will be manufactured from the raw material stage, if India is willing to commit orders for sizable numbers. Embraer is willing to offer technology transfer and integration of Indian systems. Troops Comfort Limited and Medani Group has handed over 164 units of Barbaki Watch bullet resistance jackets to the Assam police. It weighs 9.3 kilograms and uses hard armor panel and soft armor panel that can meet the threat level of level 3 plus with 360 degree protection for front back and sides and is provided with two magazine pockets and two grenade pockets.